This is a case of a 77 year old woman who fell down full flight of stairs and uh, had a head injury and uh, loss of consciousness and uh, CT scan was done. So let's see some findings that concentrate in this area on the left side of the posterior cranial fossa. There are some hyperdensities here surrounded by uh, thin uh, hypotenuation. Let's go a little further up in the frontal region here and there. There are again some hyperdensities here and there. Some of there are some of them are extra axial as you can see and uh, if we scroll up we can see a thin layer on the uh, right side if you compare the, uh, the two sides the right with the left you can see that there is some difference on the right side there is sulcal effacement you see the sulci are different on the right side comparing to the left. This is because of edema and because there is a facement of this very shallow uh, subdural hematoma. Here it is. It's very thin, very thin layer of uh, hyperdensity. And uh, there is also some hyperdensity in this area. There is sulcal hyperdensity in this case. So this is a complex uh, intracranial hemorrhage. First of all, we have some uh, hemorrhagic brain uh, parenchymal contusions surrounded by some edema. There is uh, some hypotenuation around the hemorrhage here. Okay, uh, there is a right-sided subdural hemorrhage and there is also subarachnoid hemorrhage. So there is a combination of hemorrhage in different parts of the head. This is sulcal hyperdensity, so it represents subarachnoid hemorrhage. Some hyperdensities are in the brain parenchyma, like in this region. This is brain parenchymal contusion surrounded by edema, vasogenic edema. And in this case, we have right-sided subdural hemorrhage. Here, this uh, focal hyperdensity probably represents uh, some hemorrhagic contusion in the left cerebellar hemisphere. Very rarely, subdural or epidural hematomas occur in the posterior cranial fossa. Now let's go to the bone algorithm images and we can see that there is a fracture on the left side of the skull base. Here it is. Compare this, the fracture, this area, with the normal suture here. So, never be confused. The edges of the fracture are sharp and clear. With smooth margins. Comparing to the sutures, which are irregular. and uh, slightly hyperdense. So let's see the fracture again. 
here it is don't forget to use different window imaging settings so you can see all the findings as you can see here there are some just bubbles on the left side of the middle cranial fossa and this finding represents pneumocephalus in this case we can go back to the bone algorithm images and uh, search for some possible fracture in the petrous bone to be honest I'm not sure if there is a, a definite fracture here but however there is some very very small opacification here which is new in comparison with the previous CT scan Another incidental finding is that there is a chronic old infarct in this region, in the right occipital lobe. And uh, in my next video I will uh, uh, present uh, this case and uh, how it appeared as an acute infarct. I will show you uh, the CD scan and the MRI scan which is uh, very interesting to watch. Dear friends, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel so you will not miss uh, uh, my videos I post uh, in this channel. Thank you and see you soon again.